Now we're going to do a beam analysis for a simple beam that has two equal concentrated loads and they are symmetric. So here are the concentrated loads, this point right here, P1 and P2, and over here we have that P1 is equal to 500 pounds and P2 is equal to 500 pounds also. And they are symmetrically placed on the beam, the first one is at four feet and then the second one is four feet in from the right hand and then that is at uh, 12 feet. So the first thing we're going to need to do is make our free body diagram. I'm going to come down here and I'm just going to count this is over eight blocks by the way and I'll just draw this line in right here. So now we're going to put in our loads. So I'm going to go in two blocks here. And this is going to be my first one. And this load is going to be P1. And that is going to be 500 uh, pounds. And I'm going to come in two blocks from the opposite end. And that is P2. And that one is also 500 pounds. Now, we got to do our reaction forces. So, going up at this end, we are going to have our reaction force A. And then at the opposite end, we're going to have reaction force B. That should be a large R and a small b. Uh, and we need to put in some dimensions. So, from reaction force A, to this first load is going to be four feet. And then at the opposite end, it's going to be from reaction force B in, it's going to be four feet there also. So this is symmetrically placed. And then the overall length right here that is 16 feet. So that takes care of our free body diagram. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do the sum of our forces using our equilibrium uh, formulas. So first we're going to start with the forces in the Y. So we're going to do the sum of the forces in the y, and that has to equal 0. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our reaction force A plus our reaction force B. So RA plus RB. And then we have our two point loads right here, P1 and P2, and those are both 500 pounds and they are going down so this is going to be a minus uh, 500 pounds and then for P2 it's going to be minus 500 pounds and that all has to equal zero and we're going to start to uh, simplify this down so we have RA plus RB equals and we're going to take two these two 500s and add them to both sides and we get uh, 1,000 pounds here and now we have two uh, factors here uh, and we can't solve this equation anymore so we're going to have to do the sum of the moments and the sum of the moments, I'll go down here and write this in, go down a few lines. So the sum of the moments around point A has to equal zero. So the first thing remember is that moments are uh, a force times a distance. So the first one that we're going to do is RB. So that's the 
force and its distance is the 16 feet. Then we're going to next find our uh, our uh, points. So this this guy right here, and that is going to be uh, a distance. So that is minus the 500 pounds. Times the distance which is going to be 12 feet okay <sighs> minus the force rate here minus 500 pounds again times the distance of 4 oops Sorry, forgot the feet thing. There we go. And then we have reaction A, which is going to be uh, plus, I believe. Yep. Okay. So it's going to be plus R A times a distance of zero, and that all has to equal zero. Sorry, I got a little cramped on the page there. But we're going to reduce this down. So we're going to take RB times 16 feet. All right. And then when we do the math on here, we take 500 times 12 uh, minus the 500 times 4 you end up with a negative value of 8,000 and, and that is uh, pound feet and that equals zero and then R B times 16 feet is equal to 8,000 pound feet and then we divide 16 into 8,000 so it's going to be RB is equal to 8,000 divided by 16 uh, feet in this up here is pound feet and that's going to give us a value of RB is equal to 500 pounds okay so now we can come back up to the top formula and substitute in RB so RE RA plus our 500 pounds from down here equals a thousand pounds so R A because we subtract 500 from both sides is equal to 500 pounds so here's what our shear diagram is going to look like I'm going to put our point here uh, and then I'm going to come over and I'm going to put a point right at the where P1 is and then I'm going to come over till I find where P2 is and I'll put a point there and one for the end so this is going to represent uh, 500 pounds right here and our force is going to be going across until it reaches P1 and then it's going to go down 500 pounds and after it goes down 500 pounds it's going to stay the same until it reaches P2 
And then it's a force going down again, 500 pounds. And then that force stays even till it gets over to the end of our 16 foot beam. So this area right down here, that is uh, minus 500 pounds. And then this is the positive value for our shear force right here. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to draw in and cal calculate our moment diagram. So I'm going to draw that down here. One, three, four. Okay. Okay. So I've traced these lines down from my shear diagram. And this is for our moment diagrams. Uh, we got to remember that the moment max is always going to be the area under shear diagram to the left of center. And here we go. This is our shear diagram uh, right here. Now, we have to solve for what this area is. And it's always going to be uh, force times the distance. So our moment max is going to be equal to the 500 pounds times the distance and from this point here to here is going to be four feet so our moment max is going to equal 2,000 foot pounds all right, so up here, our chart's going to look like this. This is up two blocks and over two, and our line is going to go up, and then it's going to be flat until it reaches our 12-foot line right there. And then it's going to come back down to the bottom. And I'll draw a straight line across here at the bottom. And we'll label our moment max. So this is M max. And that is going to be 2,000 foot pounds. And there we go.